Okay guys, we're at 6.11. Software travel limits. Without software travel limits, the machine can go maximum speed until a limit is tripped as shown in 6.10.1. .1. At times, there's not enough time to decelerate the axis after limit switch is tripped, causing the machine to crash into the stop. This collision may cause serious damage to both the mechanical and electrical system. Setting software travel limit will automatically decelerate the axis right before it reaches the limit switch, preventing possible damage to the machine as shown in figure 6.10.2. Additionally, the CNC11 software will throw an error and stop the machine if G-code requests the machine to move past the software travel limit. Prerequisites. Before starting the machine, revs per inch or revs per millimeter DRO needs to be calibrated correctly. The limit switches need to be functioning and the maximum feed rate and acceleration should be correctly set up. Restart the machine and home it before continuing with this procedure. So let me restart the machine and home it and I'll be right back with you. Okay, we're homed. Put the machine into slow jog mode and turn the feed rate down slowly. Move the axis away from the home toward the limit switch on the opposite end of the axis until the limit switch trips. The status screen will display message such as 407 limit switch tripped. Alt J. I'm going to move away from my uh, Y axis just to get a little bit more centered at this point. Move it in the plus direction from home. Okay, now we're going to move X. We've got such a long table, I'm going to speed up the feed rate to get to the other end a little bit quicker. Here we go. So the idea here is we want to trip the limit switch. So as we get closer to the limit switch, I'll slow it down and we will trip it. Okay. Okay, we tripped. Okay, when I home the machine, I also set part zero. Didn't know if that would be helpful or not. And they ask you to be in the machine DRO. We're in the work coordinate system number one, G54. So we're gonna go Alt D. And now we are in the machine DRO. Now it asks us Put the jog panel into incremental mode and slowly increment away from the limit switch until the limit switch is cleared. So I will go control I and we're going to move in the negative direction until we're off the limit. Watch the display. Okay, we're off the limit. From the main menu, press F3 MDI. F3 MDI and issue a command to move another hundredth of an inch away from the limit switch. This DRO position will be our software limit. So we want to go to 31528. G1 X3 1.528. We'll do a feed rate of 1 just to make sure. Alt S. You can see the distance to go is counting down. Okay. 31528. Now it says from the main menu. 
press F1 setup, F3 config, F1 setup, F3 config, 137. Let's see if I can get out of this jog panel. Okay. F2, F1, F2 jog. In the jog parameters menu, enter the position for the software travel limit in the appropriate travel minus or travel plus box. So we're going to go over here in the travel plus, and it is 31.528. We save it. Get out of that. Let's jog away from it. Alt J. Get out of incremental. We're jogging away. You can see the DRO counting down. Now I'm just going to jog towards it. And it should stop on its own without hitting the limit switch. And it did. 31,528 is what we set. So our X software limit is set. All right, let's do the Y. Okay, we're heading towards the positive Y limit switch. Okay, here's where we're heading, this, this limit switch here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go slowly. Set my feed rate down. Okay, it tripped. Put the jog panel in incremental mode and slowly increment away from the limit switch until the limit switch is cleared. Okay, it cleared. Take a look at our display. And now we want to get an extra hundred thousandths away from that. So we go MDI. We're going to go G, 1, Y, 13.68. F1, distance to go. Okay, so that's our number. Escape, setup, config, 137, F1, machine, jog. 13.689. Save it. Okay, we're going to jog off, get away from it a little bit. So Alt J. Get it off incremental. Go in the negative direction. Now bring you down to the switch. Okay. And it should stop us before hitting the limit switch. And it did. And it stopped us exactly where we told it to, 13.689. All right, Z-axis is next. All right, we're gonna, go, we're gonna jog Z down until it trips. We're at an inch, two inches, and we're going in the negative direction here. And that's the way it needs to be put in the table. Okay, we're coming up on the limit switch. We slow things way down, about to hit it. Okay, we got a limit switch tripped on our display. Now we're going to jog off of it. 
go back to incremental okay it's cleared alt J F3 gonna do a G1 Z minus four point six one nine F one Alt S Okay, so our value is a minus 4619. F1, F3, 137, enter, machine, jog, and this is a negative number in the negative column. So this is Z. So it goes minus 4.619. Save it. All right. Now we're going to jog this thing up, Alt-J, continuous up, moving away from it. Now we're going to come down on it, and it should stop before it hits the limit switch, I hope. Let's slow the feed rate way down again. And it stopped. So, we've set the software travel limits on my machine. So that's all done.